Hello everyone, this is Soul Super 17 here. And let me get through this like usual. This is, you know, a non paid video, and I just used the pictures, so I do not own them. I just made the thumbnail, so yeah. Anyways, this video has been, well, something I've been really wanting to make for the longest time. It, it just, I saw someone made it, made it like, I mean, I saw some people made it, and I was like wondering, hmm, what can I do? What can I do with, you know, the character Joker? So, I just say, why well, Deku was the Joker? So, yeah, little backstories, little backstory, which, aka, is a lot, so it's gonna be probably around five or, okay, hold on. Okay, so you may have to skip to like, 5.3, maybe, I don't know. So, in order to TV, my dad just came out of his room, but yeah. Anyways, here's the thing. Um, Joker does die from, like, in the Arkham games, but um, Harley Quinn was having this kid with, you know, Bat, my now Bat, with Joker. Um, Batman knew about this. So... Let's just say after, before Arkham Knight, you know, he married Harley and, you know, raised the kid. But then Arkham Knight happened and then, like, you know, he got them out of the city, safe place, because he knew something was, like, something strange was happening. So, yeah, they got out of the city. And so, you know, um, after the whole entire thing happened, hold on. Okay, as I was saying, so yeah, Harley got out of the city, Arkham Knight happened, Batman destroyed, or Bruce destroyed his, you know, mansion, but, you know, he kept all his money, and so, what happened was, um, he changed his name, but technically they're still the Waynes, so after a couple years pass, um, the... Wayne Money. So basically, the real name. I mean, you know, so a couple years passed, him and Harley had a kid, and, you know, they raised Joker's. Bruce raised Joker's kid to not go and, you know, be like his father. And then Harley, you know, even helped out. So, let's just say. Bruce's kid, along with Joker's kid, you know, had kids for many generations, and they went all the way down to Inko and Deku. Inko is the great 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 granddaughter of the Joker, and Zuku is the, you know, grandson of the Joker. Great grandson. And so, though, he does, they, you know, the Wayne Foundation was, you know, the Wayne family was revived, even though technically Inko is called. Inko Wayne, you know, like De Midori Izuku Wayne, but they're still called Midoriya. So, I just want to say that, and let's just say around the age of quirks, their DNA was changed very, very, very dramatically because of the whole entire serum that was killing the Joker and Batman in Arkham City. The Titan formula, I think, if I remember correctly. So, yeah. So, that was still around. So, like, with Arkham Knight, that formula was in his kids. Well, in his kid, and then, well, in, you know, Joker's kid. And basically, that was passed down for generation, for generation, but into the DNA. And that's why it changed. The quirk changed. So, yeah, I'm not going to explain no more. I'm going to keep a lot of it a secret. Just know that. So, anyways, let's get into this. This is What If Deku Was the Joker. <laughs> uh, I'm going to love this. Oh, I forgot to mention, there are going to be some different things. Toga is Bakugo's sister. You know, and... Um, there's gonna be two girls for the ship, Momo and Toga. Reasons why. <clears throat> because I want to. And, yeah. 
And, well, Deku's personality is going to be different. So, yeah. Alright, so, <clears throat> as we begin the story, we're starting off when Izuku is four years old. He's always had these tendencies to speak weirdly, like, <laughs> he just, like, somehow was speaking like this. You know, if you keep hurting me, I won't mind sticking this as, you know, he has a pencil into your leg, you know? <laughs> as these kids were like, what? You know, as then the teacher comes over and yeah. So, they know about Izuku's situation. Like, everyone knows about the Joker and history. Gotham, Arkham City. They know everything to know as a, about before Quirks came along. That this was the most dang one of the most dangerous villains around. So, yeah. So. They know about Izuku's path. Like, Yuzuku is the like great 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 grandson of him. So yeah, so they don't act up on him saying this stuff. But so this is it when it started. He went to the quirk doctor. They say his quirk is there, but it's not active. He's gonna be quirkless for some time. It may be because of trauma he needs to suffer. And that's unfortunate. But since he is the grandson, you know, this that's when he's at the quirk doctor, I forgot to mention, you know. So, he may have to suffer, suffer so much trauma that it unlocks. And that is very unfortunate. But that is all we have to think of. As Inko says, well, we are the great-grandchildren of the Joker. So, it's bound to happen. <laughs> and so, they, you know, they leave. Um, Deku tells everyone. You know, and so... Everyone knows that like, he can't tell that he's the great, you know, a great great grandchild of a villain before quirks. So, yeah. So basically, though, um, we're how can I say this? Toga and Bako are in the same age. How can I say it? Right, Bako is. Uh, a little bit older by by five minutes older, so yeah. But you know, Togo was taken away by a nurse and a doctor, and they said you know Togo died. I mean, he did not know. But yeah, let's we're skimming to him around being eight. Well, no, not not not, not yet. So after this, you know, after the court doctor, you know, and after Deku telling one, Inko was calling a. I try to say this. A family member, as she goes, he's his quirk is activated by, activated by trauma now, you know, to unlock it, and that he's having the side effects of, well, being the grandson of the Joker. So we need to, you know, start treatment right right away, like we did with me, as this person on the phone says, "All right," and so he. You know, hospital was made in Gotham for the for this type of situation, basically. So, over the years, every summer, Deku goes to this hospital, gets treated, has see how his psyche is, and you know, the more he gets bullied, the more they have to increase the dosage, increasing you know, the therapy sessions, and making sure that he doesn't go insane. But around, but over time, though, when he goes, like, when he's getting bullied, he has, well, <laughs> he has done some things that no kid should do. Say, how can I say this? Say he, you know, he's only eight to nine years old, this specific night, as, you know, Izuku, or should, well, no, as Deku basically goes out during the city and, well, it's on, you know, basically, he's just carrying a bat, just smiling and humming to himself, just like, hmm, 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 something like that. I don't know. I don't know if that's an actual song, if so, I don't own it, but yeah. Anyways, um, 
So basically, when he goes from an alleyway, he hears this man and this woman telling this girl to drink this blood of this person. And, you know, go into the store and, well, well no, go into the place and rob them. As this girl, but, but they, you know, they need it. You know, they don't have much. I goes like, they, they're fine, you know, they have a lot of money, but this family that really doesn't. Um, it's just something that these people want from them. It is like a price of jewelry that was like, you know, great. Like, you know, someone had in their family that died. So yeah, a family heirloom that was worth a lot of money that they did not know. So yeah, so um, just want to say this. Basically, if you're wondering how Toga could be Bako's sister, Mitsuki... And, well, someone or family had a similar quirk with blood, but it was, like, the sweat and the blood was made to, like, create a miniature little bombs. You know, little explosions, basically, that could not do much damage. But they were basically used to, you know, hit somebody, and then they, like, were able to then, like, Boom, like, make a little explosion, send them, send them, like, you know, stunning them. So, like, little stun grenades. So, because of, you know, Miski and her husband, you know, um, you ha her husband had a stronger hurt than one of her, you know, grandparents' quirks had, it was, it mutated to, like, Toga's quirk. So it'd be explosions, she consumes blood, she transforms. Yeah. So Deku, you know, seeing this and he goes, Oh <laughs> trying to use someone to steal something from someone else. That ain't nice. <laughs> it looks like I'm just gonna have to have some fun. As in the you know people are going, What the as they just see Deku's bat hit one? Then hit the other in the knee, and then proceed to then smack the other one again with well, the other one in the face, and then she just keeps beating on them. And people hear this from outside and call the cops, but after a few minutes, that was just, you know, done, because, well, they're dead. <laughs> I mean, you can really expect it's the Joker, and I'm not gonna have someone die by this kid. So basically, though, he looks at Toga and he goes like, <laughs> "Not afraid? <laughs> Come on! I mean, at least scream a little. That's what normal people do." Well, I mean, I ain't normal. <laughs> I just like to hurt people sometimes. It helps with uh, losing my mind. As Toga just like, you know, face is red because of, you know, blushing. Because there's blood on him and blood on the ground. As the cops pull up and they see Izuku with a bloody bat as two of the officers come out and they go like, Really? Really, Izuku Midoriya? This is the 12th time this month. You have already killed about, well, killed about 20 people and injured 30. Get in the car. Wait, huh? Well, wait, why is she not hurt? As soon as Zuku explains the situation and they're like, okay, we're taking the girl. And then Togo goes, wait, you killed 20 people? 22, to be precise. And they're like, how are we going to explain this now? He was like, Easy. He's the grandson of the Joker. We can't freaking stop him. We're lucky he didn't act. His quirk isn't active yet. And Deku says, Yeah, if it was, you guys would have been dead by now. <laughs> As, you know, he does have the laugh. It's like he's a spitted image of the Joker We're just out the, you know, hair and the mouth yet. That's coming along soon. Very, very soon, but yeah. So when they get to the police station, they, you know, did a blood test on the girl. It turns out it was Mitsuki Bakugo. So they call her up. They call Inko. Inko comes over and she goes like, really, Izuku? 
12 times this month. And he was like, what? There's so many villains that just need to be hurt. I mean, at least I'm cleaning up scum. And only leaving about 30 people with broken kneecaps. <laughs> and so Eco just says, true, but 22 people killed this month. And then Togo hears, wait, this month? How many people have you killed? He goes, hmm, about 50 so far. I started from the age of, I guess, seven. I mean, my body's always been able to do things weirdly. I mean, I was able to lift something that was heavier than me at the time. Or was it eight? I can't even remember. She goes, as Inka goes, it was when you hit nine years old. Well, no, wait, no, actually, this is a, we, it's always hard to remember our problems with our brains, mental problems. So Zuko goes, yeah, everything gets jumbled up in there. Huh. When was it actually? I said, Inko, you know, basically, says, goes, now I remember, it was when that man threatened to kill me right in front of you, you started, and ever since then, Anytime you come back home with bruises on you, you always go out that night and kill, which has been happening a lot lately. Seriously, why won't you open up and tell me? As it goes, I don't want to cause a problem, Mom. It's not like I'm getting bullied. As Inko knows he is, and she's been trying to figure out who's been doing it, and she came up with a conclusion today, as is it is Bakugo. And so, <clears throat> when Misu comes over, the police tells that this is her daughter, and that we already did a you know, test as it, you know, what's the system as it came up to be you. And they go like, huh? But my daughter's dead, and basically, the cops found, like, you know, did blood, like, you know, found the people who it was. It was the doctor of the nurse, as basically, they came up with a theory that the doctor and the nurse took your daughter to use her to steal, and that we... Technically, have been looking for these two, so we found where they were at the time, and we can't, you know, basically, as we were radioed just a few minutes ago, that it was that they've been they planned to find a girl with a transformation quirk and use her to steal it and do whatever they need to do, even kill if necessary. As you know, Mithi just looks at Toga, and she goes, Toga, and she goes, Who are you? He goes, I'm your mom. And he goes, but mom's dead because of him. I think she was my mom. She always told me, Brad, and stay out of her life. And she goes, no, 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 I'm your mom. They took you from me. And basically, you know, there's like this little reunion. As Deku just smiling, a true one. As in, you know, she says, who found her? As in Deku saying, hi, Aunt Mitsuki. As, you know, she just looks as it is, you know, Deku's covered in blood on his face, even on his hand. And she goes, Suku, did you? Kill two people? Yes. I mean, it ain't the first time I did it. <laughs> but hey, I mean, I made sure it was quick. One sw no. Three swings to the body and three to the head each. In which we see like, huh? As Inko did say, remember I told you our strength in my family is very, very weird. She goes, yes, even though it's not a strength enhancement quirk, and yours is just a telekinesis, your physical body somehow is stronger than me. Even though I trained when we were younger, how are you stronger than me? And durable. So, so durable. As Eiko just says, you know the reason why. She goes, just because you're the granddaughter of the Joker doesn't mean crap to me. And there he does it. You do know he went against Batman. Who, you know, is, was technically one of the strongest heroes who were not, did, who had no powers. And also, you know, my great great grandfather survived multiple falls. Was very durable, very strong to even go against Batman. So, you know, how do you not think we're strong enough? As, you know, Mickey goes true. So, you know. So, Inko finally asks right in front of me, he has been Bako, has been bullying you? He goes, no, no, I, it's, you know, Inko gives that stare that she knows, and he goes like, ha, 
Yes, he has. And it's been really annoying. I've been so hard trying not to... As Inko knows and hugs him and she knows that feeling all too well. So, you know, Miski's mad. Toko's mad at her unknown brother saying she will stab him. As Miski goes, no, we'll beat him <laughs> when we get home. She goes, okay. <laughs> As then Zuku looks at Mitsuki and then Toga, Mitsuki and Toga, he goes like, oh, they are way too similar. As Inko says, agreed. So yeah, so after that, every single time Bako bullies Deku, Toga comes and smacks the little crap out of him, or punches him, basically showing him up, and anytime he uses her his quirk on her, Deku immediately takes a chair and smacks him with it. Or... You know, that's what he wants to do, but Miski finds out and grounds him. And, well, let's just say he does not ever, ever have a good time. So he learned quickly, do not do anything to Deku, do not do anything to Toga. So, yeah. So, <clears throat> so over the years, um, Deku does not get bullied much anymore, but he gets bullied whenever Toga's not around. Now he goes back to the hospital every summer, and, well... Are at the day of the anime. So. Let's just say this. Everything goes to canon. Deku's hair has been more green than black. His skin has been getting a little pale. It's because of the trauma that he's been getting. And so this summer though. Was the last time he was going to go to the hospital. Which was really nice for him, actually. Like, the best summer he ever had, actually. Um, they said, well, I mean, he always go there just to get away and relax. But it's been, how can I say this? It was his last day because the treatments ain't helping. The medicine he's been taking doesn't work no more. And yeah, so they told him that and he understood. Also, Deku in this one knows a lot of different types of chemicals on how to make certain well medicines and also antibiotics and basically anything medical wise he knows um so yeah basically if he ever want to he can mix two different types of venoms or poisons together to make it where they can become stronger or weaker which is highly weird to most people but not to deku he has that joker mindset. He doesn't think black and white. You know, that there's black and white. There's good and evil. There's always that gray. And only gray. That's only there. Yeah. So, you know. But he does want to cause chaos. But anyway. But yeah. And if you think, oh, he's going to become a villain. No. He's going to be something even worse than a villain. A anti-hero avenger of, well, justice, you can say. Well, justice for his mother. <laughs> I'm not going to say why, but you can probably guess. But yeah, so. This is what happens. So everything goes the same way in anime. And when Toga leaves a room and he Bako knows she's gone, this is what happens. Deku, you know... Gets his notebook blown up from out the window. And this is when, you know, he, like, wants to say something or do something. Bakugo makes a little explosion. He stops. But then he does say, if you want a quirk in your next life, maybe you'll, you know, take a swine dive off the roof. And this is when he finally snaps. And he just starts laughing like this. <laughs> As, as Bakugo and... You know, his goons look at him, and all of a sudden, his, get, his skin gets a lot more paler. His hair is more green than black. And his eyes, you know, still seem the same, but it's way more weird as Zaku's fingernails get black. And so he goes, Oh, Bakugo, Katsuki. If you really want me to swine dive off the roof, how about you do it yourself? 
it's a lot more better when you won't watch the people's life leave their eyes or see their fear in them. As you know. Okay, sorry. I lost my train of thought, but I did say about him doing himself and uh, seeing people's life leaving their eyes or seeing the true self. And it's all about the reveal. Yeah, that's what I want to say. As Bakyo and his friends are going like, what the? As all of a sudden, Deku looks at them with this weird look in his eyes. As Bakyo goes, <laughs> so what, nerd? What are you going to do about it? As then Deku goes, oh, I don't know. As a snap of his fingers, as chains wrap around Bakyo's arms and cuffs go onto him he goes what the as you know he tries to do explosions and he goes like what, what what's happening why can't i not use my explosions okay just want to clearly tell you deku has all of the memories of the joker and what he can what the joker did um that wasn't clear i was trying to point out so it's because of the blood like all of joker's kids can do this like they they basically can't get a clear memory of the joker and what he has done some of his kids have become villains some have become heroes others just don't do anything they just are in between so yeah so basically you know, you know deku just says <laughs> oh sorry never get to tell you about my quirk there isn't no name for it because it's been dormant for so long you know, I had to have trauma to activate it. After all, I am the great grandson of the greatest vi villain of all time. Legit. <laughs> the green hair, the pale skin. Do you not know who I am? As all of a sudden, Baco has a flashback of the, a picture of the Joker. He goes, No. You, you're the. He goes, Yes, I am. <laughs> I am the Joker's grandson. And, well, as all of a sudden a knife appears in his hand, he goes up to Baki and goes, So, how I put a smile on that face of yours? As his goons are about to do something, as Deku says, da, 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 Don't move. You don't want my hand to slip now, do you? I mean, now do we? But I won't do nothing if Bakugo Kotsky here apologizes for what he said to me and what he has done to me my whole entire life. As you know, Bakugo goes with the knife in his mouth. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please let me go. As he goes, see, was that so hard, Bakugo? As you know, he. Pats him on the cheek as Bakugo's thinking, he's crazy. I, I, I turned him crazy. Oh wait, his quirk. After because of drama, oh, crap, crap, crap. As in Deku, all, like all of a sudden, a chain comes out of a syringe, as it injects into Bakugo's shoulder. As he goes, what the, what's that? As he goes, Deku just says, oh, a little serum I can I came up with. What should I say? Is always been around. Just need the components for it. As long as I knew what they were, I can make it. Also, if you wonder how I know about my quirks so well, it's kind of like my mother told me. Anytime we get some trauma, enough of it, and our quirks are weakened. We already knew what we can do with our quirks. <laughs> so, I'm calling mine Asylum. But basically, the serum I ejected you with will kill you if any time you try to attack me uh, before 15 minutes are up. So, if your goons attack me, you'll die. You don't want that now, do we? As he has this smile on his face the whole entire time, which is way more creepier to him. <laughs> As the, the goons nod their head, we won't attack you. And he goes, good, now then, bye everyone. You know, he walks out perfectly fine, but then he basically thinks, 
I wonder how long it's going to take to realize. That was just plain old water with sugar in it. <laughs> ah, that was funny. Alright, so. Yeah, so basically he just put in some water or sugar in it. Tobacco's bloodstream. In which they, they were like wondering, what the heck is wrong with Doria? As Baco does say something like, he remembers now about Mitsuki saying about his family. Like, his great-grandfather, like, really great-grandpa before Quirksy even activated in Gotham. You know, his grandfather was, as his mom was Harley Quinn. I was like, wait, 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 what, what the Harley Quinn? Is they, he nods and he was like, oh my god. God, that means the Joker had a kid, and oh, oh, we messed up, guys. You know, one of them says, and he goes, No, 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 Izuku won't you know, kill us, right? As Bob goes, I, I, I don't care, I'm, I'm going, I'm gonna just enjoy my last day living. You guys in? They nod and they, you know, they leave the school. So yeah, but Izuku does not get attacked by the sludge villain, but something else happens. He goes home, Togo's right home, Bako's enjoying his so-called last day. And yeah, but you know, when Izuku, you know, is getting home, he... How can I say this right? He goes up the stairs into his house and he's about to... You know, when he gets to his apartment door, there's, well, it was forced, it was blast open. How can I, you know, no, no, he hear no, no, instead of that, he hears noises. A man's voice and another man's voice. So, he opens the door so slightly to hear it, as they, you know, basically they are in a viewpoint where he can see if it's a high. As basically, he sees his mom is being held by a man with a mask on and in a suit. And then there's another person right next to him with a hand on his face with blue hair and black shirt and black pants. As he just scratching his neck as he goes, where? Does this mean the man with the black suit on saying, where is your son? And she goes, <laughs> I won't say nothing. You know, she says I won't say nothing. As, you know, Shigaraki, you know, I'm just gonna say Shigaraki is basically saying, T Master, shouldn't we just kill her already? As all for one reason says, No. We need her. So that way we, t you know, get to find him. As she goes, you know, as all of a sudden she just starts laughing. As they all wonder why, she goes, You'll never find my son if he finds out what you're about to do to me. Because I know villains like you all for one. As they're, you know, both of them are shocked that she knows. She goes, I may not be a villain, but my great grandfather's name does carry some weight in the villain world. As a smile and appear, you know, a smile has appeared on her face as she goes, So. When my son finds out who's going to kill me, or should I say, who kills me, you're going to die and go to hell. As all for one just says, finally, goes like, the great-great-granddaughter of the Joker's quirk is so weak. As he crushes her, you know, windpipe. When this happens, though, Izuku's mind completely snaps. And in doing so, a power is awakened within Izuku. A greater power. His quirk had an ability to legit drive people to hell. So, yeah, that ability awakens and... There is a madness, bloodlust, hatred, 
just goes throughout the multiverse. Because, you know, this is Batman, DC, you know, like Joker, Batman, of course, there's going to be, like, you know, heroes from the Justice League, like Superman, who's going to be in here. You know, so throughout the multiverse, everyone can feel this pressure. And it's intense. All villains who have powers to see into other dimensions slash realities, even the inverted ones, can see this Deku's, well, this madness and intensity coming from him. Hold on. So, basically, I'm making it aware of Zuku's, like, this Deku is, his madness, his hatred, his insanity, everything can be felt throughout the multiverse. So, even, like, some Jokers who laugh, I mean, Batman who laughs, or Deku who laughs can feel this, and even they're terrified. And I don't want to hear nothing about it, because this is my what if, and I'm making it this way. So basically, like, the original Joker can even feel this. And let's just say, <clears throat> he goes, hmm, I wonder, why does this feel so familiar? As you know, Harley says, what's wrong, Mr. J? He just says, oh, Harley, there's a, well, a strange feeling. It's like me, but not me. Just got so angry that there's a disturbance in the force. And she goes, Did you just make a Star Wars reference? He goes, Yes. So? He goes, Ah, never mind. And he goes, Yeah. Anyways, I don't know what's going on. And it's just probably some kid or something having a tender tantrum, like a spoiled little brat. He, as in Harley says, Uh, Mr. J. There's a crack over at the window as when, you know, he looks over, he sees this, like, there's nothing. And then all of a sudden, it's just a red eye. He goes, like, and he just hears his voice saying, you want to say that again, clown? Because if you do, I'll come over there and I'll make sure I, well, I'll make sure you're never alive again. And, you know, he can feel this hatred. You know, this intense killing. He goes, no, no, uh, sorry, whoever you are, my bad. As then you know, he just hears laughter, and then all of a sudden it just disappears. So, yeah, so, let's go back to what Deku is, then, like, all for one, Shigaraki felt this. They look at the door, they see it was, you know, slightly open. Enough for, you know, him to see them. And then, like, you know, when they get, when Shigaraki, and when Alpha One gets to the door, he's gone. So, yeah. Uh, and so, Shig goes, Master, who is that? And, he, and Alpha One says, I do not know Shigaraki, but I have a feeling we unleashed something that was never supposed to be unleashed. Oh yeah, if you're wondering about how many people Deku has killed, it's over about 50. You know, 50 so far, he has killed. <sighs> Sorry, I had to go on, but he's also injured about 120 people, so yeah. Anyways, so, um... Deku, you know, is just running as fast as he can, getting away as tears are going down his face, and he's just thinking, I'll kill them, I'll kill them, I'll kill them all, i kill those two, and if anyone gets in my way, I'll die, you know, just like that. So, when Azuka gets to, well... Mitsuki's house, um, Mitsuki's husband already, you know, cheated on her, and 
Well, yeah, left her for someone else. My what if, but yeah. So, you know, someone's, I'm not going to say nothing else, but anyways. You know, as Deku gets over there, Toga answers as she just sees Deku crying. She goes, Izuka, what's wrong? As he goes, my, my mom, she's, she's, you know, as, you know, Misuki, you know, sees him and then he says, she, she, she died. She's dead. My mom's dead. My mom's dead. You know, he's basically having, like, a panic attack slash, like, just really bad, like, his mind is not good. So, so, you know, brings him in, meets Kosa's doors. You know, she wants to explain everything. As, you know, they notice his skin, his nails. It's different, as, you know, he says, Bakugo, you know, tell me the swine die, my court unlocked, and I used it. And basically, I go home. My mom was being held by a man in a black suit with a mask on, and a guy with blue hair and a hand over his face with multiple hands actually on him. Along with him scratching himself, they they wanted to find me for some weird reason. They want they wanted me, and they they killed my mom. They they killed her. As Nitsuki and you know Toga comfort him, as he you know was just thinking, this this is nice. If only this would last. last. As then all of a sudden, like, his mind goes blank. Like, he just, like, blanks out. Like, due to stress and what he saw. His mind just blanked out. Like, he didn't, he won't, he won't remember none of it, what he did. But let's just say, something happened. When he wakes up, he looks to his left, then to his right, right? And he goes like, uh, oh, what just happened? Yeah, so he gets up, puts on some clothing, and he looks around the room, goes outside, leaves the door, and he even heard, oh, he even hears something that's saying, don't go, and yeah, but he just leaves, Vago comes home, he sees his mother and sister, Wonder what happened to them. He tell he you know sees Deku, as that he goes Deku, why are you here? And he, you know he just says, oh well, besides me unlocking my court because of you, my mom dying right in front of my eyes, and me blanked out and don't know what the heck just happened. As, as he was like, oh, then you know he puts two two together. He was like, did you? I said blacked out. Don't know what happened. He was like, oh, okay. Also, there was like, like, I don't know how or what happened, but they're, uh, they look pretty tired. And he goes, yeah, well, you know, I'm, I, I'm sorry about your mom, but I'm gonna kick your butt, you know, for what you did to me. He goes like, oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. I mean, if you didn't tell me to swine dive, it wouldn't have happened to you anyways. <laughs> As then, you know, Toka says, if I can move, I would come over there and beat, you know, kick your butt. And then Misuki says, agreed. After, you know, and then, like, Toka says, later, later. As Baku goes like, oh, crap. He goes to his room, locks the door, and goes underneath his bed, saying, this is my safe place. This is where I'm safe. So yeah. So. After that, you know, the police were called. They like you know. Did the whole entire. Like, you know, pol- did all entire police work. The policemen, you know, so- said sorry for your loss. And, well, All Might heard about it, and he goes like, Oh, for one, you'll pay for what you did to this boy's life. As, you know, ten months of, tra- you know, the ten months of training is going to happen. But Zuko remembers, like, a phone call that he should call if anything happens to her. 
as he says, cousin. So he calls up his cousin. And it's a Wayne. He goes, yo, uh, cuz, my mom died. Can you come and, well, train me? So I can become a hero that, you know, kills or hurt others? As he goes, well, I'll train you in combat. The entire other things you're going to have to learn on your own. He goes, yeah, I know, I know. I'm just, you know. He goes, yeah. Alright. Pack up whatever you stuff have at your house. Or wherever you live right now. Ooh. Ooh, sorry. But, you know, and we'll get to your training. He goes, thanks. And so, after that, um, Deku does tell Mitsuki and Toga that he's going to be going to Gotham and train. They're like, why? He just says, cousins. I have some cousins back in Gotham. And, yeah. So, you know, it's going to be really fun. I'll be back, be, you know, to go into the entrance of Zam. You know, he just acts normal around the people he does not, you know, dislike or hate. Well, actually, he'll act normal, even if he dis his you know he, even if he dis dislikes them, if he hates them, he'll just act insane and just try to get them away from him. So yeah, so you know after getting everything packed, he gets a phone call. He goes outside. There's a limo, which Togo's like, what? He goes, yeah. Did I forget to mention to you guys? Um, like. You know, that my great-great-grandfather is with the Joker. He did have a son with Harley Quinn. And basically, she married Bruce Wayne. In which... Who raised that kid. Who was then a Wayne. So... I'm a Wayne. Technically. As... They're shocked. Baco's like was beaten already. It was like, what? You're a Wayne? Come on! Like, Bruce Wayne was Batman. So that mean, yeah, the Batman legacy is in the family. Well, not by you know the actual bloodline of the family. Not by me. As this person who walks out as his cousin, let's just say is. Bruce, you know, his name is also Bruce. Well, technically, it is, but since the chaoticness of who his grandfather was, his mom and him thought it would be best if he doesn't try to become a Batman. As they're shocked by this, he could become a Batman. You know, become the Batman. As he goes, yeah, but let's not. I have a feeling that I would have not like it that much. And while we don't want me to become something so dangerous, I would basically be unkillable, right? As he nods. So yeah, so he gets in the car. They, well, he gets in the limousine and they leave. And let's just say after a couple of hours, they get to Gotham. And so they get to the Wayne Manor and they start the training. For 10 months, Deku has trained in multiple hand-to-hand -hand combat, even with weapons. He's learned how to create different serums, different types of poisons, different antidotes, different, like, serum, like, I mean, like, serums, like, to increase your durability, to increase your attacks, to increase your defense. So basically, like, you know, like, staff boosts, basically, but just more serum-like and, you know, even increase healing. Make you heal faster. He has learned how to fight with multiple weapons, even shoot a gun. Heck, he actually has learned even from shurikens, pressure points. Even spoke mo speak multiple languages, and well, he just gets the like the Batman train, but more designed for him. If anything was made by Bruce Wayne himself, if anything arised. Something situation like this, because of Batman's always prepared. I'm going with. 
So yeah. So after all that training is done, Deku is on superhuman levels. Somewhat superhuman levels. And yeah. But in Gotham, he has been known as the second Joker. In which people are kind of terrified in Gotham. But he has not killed nor planned to destroy the city. He has just fought criminals really to near death. Or a few of them to death. And yeah. For 10 months. That was his training. So. After it was all done. He goes back to Japan. He you know, he basically gets back to Bakuo's house. He sees Miki and Toga, because, you know, he texted them saying, like, hey, I'm back in Japan, I'm on my way over. So when he gets there, they open up the door, they say hi. As he goes, up, <laughs> Bakuo sees Deku, he's like, he looks, he goes like, wait, no, you you look different. He goes like, yeah, I've been training, I intensified training to the point where I look like this, as he goes, no. No, my my masculinity. I feel so small now. As he goes, mm, countable with your overprotective slash pridefulness ego. You technically always been small. As basically, Toga kind of laughs at this, because he what he means by it, he is small in kindness. Or in general to him. Because he's like a little bit taller now. And Baku. So yeah. But anyways. So. He came back the day before. The entrance exam. And so. When, so basically, you know, they just talk and chat. Um, they talked to his cousin because he was in their car. You know, they took the limousine to it. And they asked, like, how is... What was his training? He just says... Man, it was pretty... Well, easy for him, actually. He was very smart. He was, yeah. Well, I mean, of course I am. I am a Wayne. And too. I'm the Joker grandson and so let's just say this his cousin looks at him and he was like yeah you act more like the joker than all you know than anything of any one of the grandson you know the grandkids of him he was really he was like yeah only the joker could beat someone up with a chicken that's rubber and somehow it killed them as music was like as you could when will you stop there? He was like, when people stop acting like complete, well, a-holes. That's when, as she just sighs. And so, the day of, uh, like, you know, the UA entrance exam happens, Izuku walks in, <sighs> confident and with a smile, <clears throat> Basically, just ready to go. He doesn't meet Araka yet. Toga's there trying to get in the UA. She, you know, can, like, transform already into people and use their quirks. So, he, she's going to transform into her brother. Bakugo. You know. Um, so. Izuku. Hey, no. Gets the written exam done before everyone else, and even corrects Nezu. And after that, the whole tire just going and waiting. He basically just takes a little nap, which President Mike sees, and he's like, Huh, I wonder why. When people start walking in, this is when Deku, you know, wakes up from his nap and just be like, Huh. Alright. 
because he starts talking about the three point, two point, and one point. Zero point happens. Ida starts talking. Becca just ignores it and just goes on. I can't try to think. Oh, whatever. Eh, so. Since Sergio did not meet a rocky, he's not trying to walk over to her. He just stand there doing nothing. Ida doesn't do anything. So, yeah. So. What happens is when Prison Mike says, when he basically says, when those doors open up, you just go, 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 and all that. Then he basically runs in as soon as he sees a crack open. But he goes right through it, and he starts to gather up points with his asylum cork and using his chains, and even learn that he can use them for different things. Even using it for weaponry as weapons and such, he basically improved it. And so, near the end of it, he's about 350. And like, he broke the record. The zero point comes in. Yeah, this is when Deku just says, mm, Do I really want to fight that thing? Nah, it'd be too simple. It's not like anyone's in danger. As in, like, all of a sudden, Uraka is calling out for help where the danger is. I mean, like, a total freaking idiot on that one. Yeah, yeah screaming for help. Okay. Which Deku was thinking about it. And then basically, he activates. Yeah, you know, asylum, which, well, think like you know, chains and start to coming out of the ground, basically ripping the zero point up to bits and pieces. In which everyone's shocked by this, as Nezu's not. The court though is very, very. Oh, sorry, it's very unique. So yeah. Okay, so after that, they send out the cards saying which rank, you know, how good you performed. So yeah. What next? Mm, I'm starting to doze off, so I'll make a longer part for this. So, anyways. Bye everyone, you guys have a nice day, night, wherever you are, bye.